Now, we'll talk in the next slide a bit more on the gap. Moving target offense, which we are talking about, needs to help reduce the risk to fight against the gap. The gap is essentially those 277 days, as I mentioned in the report, that still we need to minimize. The bridge cost, we saw the numbers vary. They can be 4.3 and 5.97, depending on the sector and the industry is significant. So can we reduce this risk further? Can we help to eliminate the next breach that will cost you 4.3 million or 5 or 6 million? I would say yes to many of those cases. Just one more slide. Why is the current security solution have are challenged with uh, really solving the in-memory fileless type of techniques or malwares? This is very technical, so I will not get into the images too much. But when the application executes, its state constantly changes. In order to locate and identify malicious code or malicious pattern with this application during execution time, you need to scan the application all the time. You cannot scan the application all the time because it has immediate impact on the system, right? So security solution said, okay, our scanning of files works, so why not doing the same approach and scanning the memory all the time for similar signatures or patterns? So this is based on hooking. This is based on a specific times and points and events. Uh, the problem with that is all the visibility lacking. Between those point of time that you scan, you still do not know a lot. So you don't know 99% of the times what happens inside the code. So for the attackers, it's convenient. This is why they use evasion. This is why they use stillness. This is why they use memory, because again, they cannot be scanned and they can cherry pick the time that the malicious code executes. So there is a problem. Obviously, they can also temper and hooks, which is easy and it's being done again and again and again. So we have a problem. The gap is clear. We also find out that in the financial industries, as well as other industries, there are a lot of still in memory type of tax initiated from, again, social engineering, exploitation, job access brokers, etc. We get to a position in which many of those attacks need to go through defense evasion. Many of them are going through memory to evade the detection. So we said, okay, so the core's traditional approach doesn't work. You cannot scan all the time. Let's play the kit and mouse with the attacker. Let's change the target system, how it looks like all the time. So we said, okay, you have a different vectors, attack vectors, like and that will for sure get to memory to evade. Let's prevent them there. When they look for something that they think they know, we'll change that. So take an example of a threat vector, credential threat. For example, when you target a specific password, take Mimikets, for example, or browser stealer, uh, info stealer, any of those credential stuffing kind of problems, you specifically target an offset or structure of an application. And when you target that, the structures have been changed, again, by morphosec. And instead, you find out things that we implanted there, that we left in there. And try to read those, decrypt those, you're being caught. So it's a different approach. Instead of scanning, we're changing the target, and the attacker fails. The same with shell codes, the same with the exploits and supply chains, similar kind of techniques. We shake the ground beneath the attacker. We change and we create the attack service unpredictable. It's a very different approach because, again, the traditional approach doesn't really work. And with moving target defense, Morphosec succeeds again, prevent many of those stealthy attacks.